Hello everybody, I hope everyone is doing well and welcome to my first weekly vlog of 2021. I'm so excited. I'm just gonna sit down real quick and give you the what's what. I'm sitting on the floor in classic YouTube fashion. So for those of you who are immediately wondering, nothing about my channel is going to super change. I'm still going to be uploading three beauty related videos a week. You're just going to be getting an additional video on Mondays, which are going to be my weekly vlogs. This is something I've been thinking about doing for a very long time, and I decided this year is the year to start. I love the idea of documenting my everyday life so I can look back on it and share a lot more of me with you guys. So I'm excited to take you along this journey, and also this year I'm doing a whole bunch to my house. I'm going to be doing a bunch of little renos in here and I just wanted to document that. So I hope you guys are as excited as I am. I'm a little bit nervous because I'm stepping into something I am not fully comfortable in doing, but I think that's what makes it so fun and fresh. So what day is it today? Today is Wednesday. Such a random day to be starting, but why not? I was going to start on Monday, but today's the day. So today I made an appointment with my stepdad because I need his help to install a new TV in my bedroom. I got the same TV that I have in my living room here. This is the frame by Samsung, and I would totally recommend it to you if you're someone who loves art and who loves keeping an aesthetically pleasing space. So I'm just gonna be opening up the frame that goes around it to make it look like a picture frame. I've had the second one for a while just sitting. I wasn't sure if I wanted to mount it or put it on like a console or anything in my room, but I decided I wanted to mount it. This isn't a TV review, but I know I'm going to be getting a lot of questions. And I've had this TV for around eight months, and it's the best TV. Not only is it beautiful, but it's actually, like, really great to look at. So I'm just going to quickly unwrap this, and I'll show you my current setup in my room. <laughs> okay, so now that I unwrapped that, I'll show you my current setup, which is so funny. Here it is. I basically have this decorative fireplace that I balance my old old TV on here. This TV is very old and it heats up my room so much so that's why I'm replacing it and also if I watch TV at night when I turn it off it starts making these really really annoying clicking noises and I just can't fall asleep. <laughs> I think now while I wait for my den den to come over I'm just gonna get ready to film something. I think I'm gonna be filming a full face of NARS. I'm gonna curl my hair today so I'll take you through that. Nothing much has changed since my other routine. So now we're in my normal filming setup, but I'm just brushing through my hair. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of this Radiant Armor from Flo. It's a heat protectant. It's a new one. I haven't tried it yet. My hairdresser gave it to me. That is tequila. But if you're curious to know all that goes into my hair care and everything I use, I haven't changed a thing since my last hair video on my channel. The only thing that has changed is the length of my hair and the color of my hair. Other than that, everything remains the same. So I'm just gonna probably time lapse this. I still go in with the T3 curler. After I finish curling it, I kind of just let it cool down and I add a little bit of oil in the ends, but I'm just going to brush it out now that it's all cool. And there we are. I just got a package and I really hope it's what I've been waiting for. I've been debating about getting this for a very long time, so I hope it came all together. Also, new room unlocked. Welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> This is one of the spaces I'm really, really excited to switch up because it's super not my style. But anyways, welcome to my yellow kitchen. I kept seeing this glassware everywhere and I've been wanting it for months. I told myself if I were to ever see this on a random website again, I would purchase it and I that's exactly where I found it. It's not like I saw it on a Google ad or something on Instagram but it was just a random home decor place and it was there again, so I purchased it. Ooh, it's so pretty. I wanted it for my <laughs> bedside table. It's just a bedside carafe. And here are the glasses and they're really cool because the bottoms are different on each 
glass. Like this one's really short, that one's really tall. There they are. <laughs> They're so cute. Aww. <laughs> I'm running upstairs to see what it looks like on my nightstand. I have to wash it, but you know, I want to see what it looks like real bad. Can't really see it. Is having glass right next to my bed a smart idea? Probably not, but do it for the aesthetic. Okay, now I'm going to get to filming, so I'll see you in a couple hours. <laughs> my stepdad just arrived. I have to move all that stuff. And then there's little thingies to put on the back to hold them in after you put them all on. So satisfying. Wow. Wow. My stepdad just left and I am so grateful for him. <laughs> He's amazing. He knows how to do every single little thing. It's insane. And he has a million projects going on. I'm sure you'll see a lot of them throughout these vlogs. Anyways, look how beautiful this is. So I've been just sitting here choosing art. And I feel like I learn a lot about art too. When I see an interesting piece, I like to research the artist behind it as well. So I recently ordered a media table that also doubles as a dresser. So it's going to have some nice storage and things. So I'm going to be able to put that away and hide that. So now I have to force myself out of bed even though I want to watch Peaky Blinders. But I think I'm going to film another video. So I'll catch you guys in a little bit. So I just finished filming and it's now nighttime. <laughs> I think it went well. I always get this after filming anxiety just because sometimes I get so in the zone of my videos I kind of black out. <laughs> so I'm gonna be hoping and praying that it turned out. But now since it's been snowing all day I have to go shovel my walks and I'm gonna ask my brother if he'd be down to help me to make it go faster so I can get to editing. You want to race? <laughs> <laughs> Your side is shorter. I made it that way on purpose. <laughs> Great job. Thanks. What a form. So now that I'm in from shoveling the walks, I think for the rest of the evening I'm just going to be editing up a couple things, my IGTV, the YouTube video, and maybe this vlog. We'll see how much I can get done. But I know you guys don't want to see me edit for six hours straight. That doesn't sound very exciting. <laughs> but I think I'm going to call it a night and I'll see you guys in the morning. Hello everyone. Happy Thursday. I went to bed too late. I just edited way too late and then I started watching Peaky Blinders then I went on TikTok and it was a whole thing I didn't go to bed till 2 a.m. this morning has been a little odd I've been pretty emotional because it is my best friend's birthday today and it is the first time in my life that I'm not going to be celebrating with her Danny's also my cousin um, I've already cried a couple times. I don't want to open that gate up again. It's so weird I live like three minutes away from her now and even when I was living in Calgary or Vancouver nothing stopped me But now it just feels so Weird. I haven't felt weird about COVID for a while. I've just been kind of cruising and going through it But today feels like really shitty, <laughs> but thankfully today is a beautiful blue sky day. I think I want to take some photos outside maybe, get a cute outfit on, get a cute makeup look on, feel good about myself, go see the kitties maybe. I know my parents are going to the lake today so we'll see about that. But I think right now I need to go make myself a matcha and I'm going to show you how I do that. And that's one of my most asked questions so I'm excited to finally share my recipe with you. <laughs> Okay, so first things first, this is the matcha I use. I just got a fresh little pack. It's the jade leaf matcha. 
It's my favorite that I've tried. I'm gonna be making it in this, but I'm gonna put it in my to-go cup. You just wouldn't be able to see what I'm doing in there. And I'm just gonna add, I'm pretty tired today, so I'm gonna add like two-ish scoops like that. And I do have the traditional bowl and whisk too. I like to do that more on my self-care days, but right now I'm going to be whisking it up. And I like to add a little bit of agave syrup. I just kind of eyeball it. I count to three, one, two, three. <laughs> like that does anything. And then this is a new addition because over the holidays, I did try one of the David's teas, like fun matcha flavors. They have a blueberry one and that was really, really good. I just didn't like how there was cane sugar in it and I didn't find that the matcha thickened up the way like a normal matcha should. So I decided to purchase this. This is a super strength blueberry natural flavor. So I add four-ish drops, but it always ends up being six because there's no dropper on here. Two, three, four, five. And then I put a little bit of hot water from the tap in here. And then I whisk it up. But this is the Aero Latte that's made for matcha and has a nice wood grain. I just mix it up until all the clumps are gone and to end when a little film starts to develop on the top. And then my preferred milk is oat milk. I'm gonna shake this up. And then I like to turn this back on. Then I would usually add ice to this, but I already have ice in my to-go cup here. This is from Joko, so I'm gonna carefully pour this in there. A little gold straw, and there we go. So I just finished getting ready. I got a little carried away. It got a little smokier than I was anticipating, but I just put together three outfits I think I want to take pictures with today. I think that'll make me feel a lot better just to be outside and getting a little creative with outfit pics. So I'm going to try on all the outfits and show you. So this is the first outfit. This is more my everyday style. So I'm wearing this leather jacket with like this nice fuzz on the inside. It's super warm and cozy. Then I'm wearing this gray sweater, which I kind of like tucked in or out. Okay, pretend that tuck is better. But it looks cute like that too. My favorite jeans and just some docks. I'm sorry, this lighting's a little backlit. I'm gonna have to figure out the best area in my house to do outfit shots. So yeah, outfit number one. This is the second outfit, just a little monochromatic vibe. I love this one. This one's probably my favorite. I love all three, but there's just something about this that I love. I'll try to link everything down below if it's available. And here is the last one, just a little dress moment with a teddy coat and again, these boots that I can't get enough of. Okay, so I found a spot where I want to take a photo with these really pretty sapins. I forgot the English word. Pine trees. <laughs> Gorgeous. So I'm going to quickly take some photos and outfit one, and maybe the only one. It's actually really cold out here. I just got to my parents. They live out on an acreage, so it's so beautiful here. But I don't think they left yet, so hopefully I'll be able to see my mama. They're gone, but I did find myself a sleepy Steve. I just finished shooting photos and I think it went really, really well. I love the way the looks turned out, but look who came to visit, Mr. Teen. He purrs so loud, listen to this. <laughs> he has a little overbite and it makes me lol. You're so cute. You wanna hold his? There, thank you. Oops, can you tell we got a puppy? Anyways, look how tall Steve is. <laughs> he comes up to my hips when he's all stretched. Our cats are massive. One of my mom's friends one time saw Steve in the backyard and she thought he was a cougar. <laughs> well, you're gonna cuddle now. Hi, 
Ninjam. So now I'm gonna head home. I'm getting pretty hungry. I think I wanna make myself a little wrap. I've been on a wrap kick recently. I'm just waiting for the Jeep to warm up. It's very, very cold out. I might consider having a bath later on. I feel like that'd be nice. But anyways, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. So I just came home to a few packages, so I might as well open them up on camera. So first up here we have some exciting things from M Cosmetics. And I just checked their Instagram and they haven't revealed this product yet, but I'm sure it'll be revealed. But I am so excited because they came out with another Heaven's Glow Radiant Veil blush in the shade Venetian Rose, which is my favorite out of their serum blushes. So I'm so happy to have it in this formula. This formula is divine. And then I got some goodies from LMS, which I'm very excited about. They let me choose a few things off their website. So I let my mom choose a few things. So this one is for my mom. It's the Pro Collagen Oxygenating Night Cream Duo. And then she got the Day and Night Cream of the Pro Collagen Marine Cream. And I got this body oil. It's the Cellutox Active Body Oil. I really wanted to incorporate a body oil because my legs are very dry. So thank you, LMS. That is so, so kind. And then the next one came from Milk Makeup here, and it looks like they revamped their Sunshine Skin Tint, which I'm excited to see how this compares to the other one. I did really love the other one. I recently got rid of it though because um, it was kind of getting old, and the way you apply it, you have to like rub it on your face, and I've been dealing with acne recently, so it kind of freaked me out, so that's why I got rid of it. But it looks like they sent over like a little camera. Snap pics with this camera, send it back, and join our global community in a rad collaborative album. Think of it as virtual Milk Studio vibes. That's cute. And then they sent me three new shades here. This camera thing is so cute. I love that idea. And then this next one, I have no idea who it came from. So, Oh, it looks like it came from MAC. Ooh. Oh, I'm really excited about this. Whoa. <laughs> look at all, look at all this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It looks like they came out with more of their Pro Longwear paint pots. I also have a bunch of shadows in here and a lot of their Powder Kiss liquid lip colors. I think they came out with new shades. Uh, so I'm gonna have to unbox all of this and check these out. Ooh. Ooh, oh my God. <laughs> I can't tell if it's frozen. Yeah, all the products are frozen. So I'm gonna have to let them thaw before I dip my fingers and everything. I'm just gonna quickly make some lunch and I'll be right back. Is that all I want in there? I guess that's Put some there. this in there. <laughs> I'm gonna put this in there. I'm just gonna flip the mistake over. I only have broken ones left, so it's not the most aesthetically pleasing thing, but it's still gonna be tasty. I'm running low on groceries, so I didn't have a lot to put in here, but I have some spinach, some sprouts, mayo and mustard, and I marinated my tofu in like a taco seasoning. So I'm gonna go enjoy this, catch up on a few YouTube vids, and I'll see you in a bit. Actually, something I did forget to do yesterday is take my product shots for my videos. And I know a lot of you were curious to know how I take them. I basically have a bunch of things like this as backgrounds, but I like to take them with the Instagram camera so I can use one of the filters I like. So I'm just going to lay out the products in a way that I think is cute. I'm using Linen by Salt and Ink Home. So I'm just gonna time lapse this so you can see my little process. My hair is absolutely insane. It looks like a little octopus. Okay. I recently got these light bulbs. These are the Philips Hue bulbs. And I really wanted one for my little mushroom lamp here that I got for Christmas. I already have this really cool skylight. Uh, all the TikTokers had it. And it's definitely a TikTok influence purchase. But I actually love it. I turn it on every night. It's very calming to look at. And I wanted to show you my little lamp. I know everyone's been known about these bulbs, but it's the first time I've seen one in person. This is just like the normal daylight. You can make the light cooler or warmer. And then it also has this really fun dial that you can change it 
to all these really vibrant, cool colors. Like, look at that. The vibes are immaculate. I just realized I forgot to shave this leg. Nice. Sorry for cutting it short last night. I did get into a good editing zone. So my plan for today is a little bit more chill. Uh, it is one of my upload days and I do have to get a few work things done and I'm thinking about filming something later. So it'll be more of like a little behind the scenes kind of day. I'm just about to get all cozy on my couch so I can create some thumbnails and write out some descriptions for two of my videos coming up. Let's move to the couch and I'll show you kind of how I create my thumbnails. Okay, so I have my brother's iPad here. He's very nice and he lets me borrow it. I've been thinking about getting myself one just because I can do so many extra things creatively for my videos and thumbnails and everything. I've created a few thumbnails using Procreate before, like the Rare Beauty Stay Vulnerable one, and I was able to do like these little heart things or even this title here, and I just really like it. It's more me, I guess. Before I would do all of my thumbnails in Photoshop, which honestly it is a very similar process, but this you are just able to get more control and precision and make more fun things. Like I made this stamp of approval and I'm working on like a get ready with me title. But anyways, this is what I do. So I just finished making my thumbnails and my descriptions and I just ran downstairs to make myself a little lunch and I did the little TikTok hack with the wrap where you cut it and then you fold it and it's fun. I did like a little crunch wrap supreme type thing. I just have beans, cheese, pickled jalapenos, shredded lettuce, and one of these Tostitos. So we'll see how it goes. Looks tasty to me. I'm excited. My lunch was... I highly recommend doing that technique. So I know I said I was going to film something today, but I did get my period today and I don't think that's going to happen. All I want to do is sit in my heated blanket and maybe edit and plan out my week. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I just grabbed my planner here. I got this one from HomeSense. It's so cute. Also, my editor, Emma, just sent over a file, so I have to watch that through and approve it. And if it's all good, I'm going to upload that right now. So I have a few things. I think I'm just going to keep it really chill and just have computer time and TV time. I feel like I really need that today. That's usually how it kind of goes for me, especially in these quarantine days. I usually have filming days or shooting days, and then I have editing days. That's kind of how my schedule goes. by something was when they launched their gray lipsticks. Oh my goodness, you guys look at this snap my mom sent me. <laughs> oh 
So I got up quickly to make myself some dinner. I got really hungry, so now I'm making a little Buddha bowl. I have some quinoa cooking, and I'm about to throw in all of these vegetables into the oven here. I just have some Brussels sprouts, broccoli, and cauliflower with some garlic powder and some other seasonings. I'm really, really hungry. I was almost going to order DoorDash, but then I felt really bad for all of the veggies that I had in my fridge. A lot of things to focus on. Don't burn myself, don't drop the camera in the oven. That wouldn't be good. And here is the finished bowl. I have all the quinoa on the bottom and then all the veggies. And I also made a little quick cashew sauce just with cashews and water and a little bit of nutritional yeast. And then I put a little bit of salt on top. So I'm going to enjoy this while watching an episode of Peaky Blinders. I just finished eating and it was immaculate. It was really tasty, but I just jumped back into bed. It's just too cozy today. I can't escape it. But I think I would like to do a little face mask tonight. This lighting, you guys, is phenomenal. So I think I'm going to cleanse my face first. So I'll quickly do that, but I'll show you the cleansers I've been using. So for my cleansing balm, I've been using the LMS Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. And for my second cleanser, I used the First Aid Beauty Deep Cleanser with red clay. Really good, loving these both. So I'm quickly gonna cleanse my face real quick, and then we'll pick a mask. The two masks that I've been loving so much recently have been the Herbivore Blue Tansy mask or the Ren Glycolactic Radiance Renewal mask. I'm almost finished this one. I've talked about this one a few times on my channel. It's still one of my top favorites. I think I'm gonna go in with the Ren one. Those two masks are very effective. And now we go back to relaxing. I'm gonna switch up the vibe in here real quick. Ooh, yeah, I like the pink. Now that I look like I'm in outer space, it's time to resume. Good morning, happy Sunday. I did end up taking Saturday off, which felt really, really good. But today I'm off to the lake. I'm excited for a little bit of family time. I'm just about to go pick up my brother and then we'll be on our way. So I'm off. I just put everything in my car. I don't know how to pack lightly though. I brought like three jackets. I can never pack accordingly. Maven had a little nap, but I heard her squeak. Good morning. Good morning. How's the puppy? Oh, did you have a good nap? Did you have a good nap? Look at this little well-rested pupper. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh oh. Oh, she's gonna hit me. I'm so proud of myself. That was the first time I ever rode a ski doo by myself. I used to always be a little too chicken or I just didn't care for it. I used to just ride on the back. Did something new today. That's exciting. And now Denise is making us a skating rink and we're flooding it currently. For tomorrow, it's gonna be so fun. Ooh. Wow! <laughs> Nicicle! Nicicle. We've had such a relaxing and chill day so far. 
I'm someone who really struggles with relaxing. I always feel like I need to be doing something or working or whatever it may be. But today I feel like I can finally just chill. It's been a really good day. But I think I'm gonna go pour myself a glass of wine. I think that sounds like a blast. <laughs> Are you sitting so nice? You want a treat? You sitting so good? Maven, sit. Good girl. Look at how sharp. I will stab you. Don't. Julia! No! I want cheese! Good morning everyone, happy Monday. Yesterday was super super chill, so I hope you enjoyed the more chill montage day. I think the rink froze over overnight, so that'll be really fun. I haven't skated in a couple weeks, but first to kickstart my day, I need a matcha ASAP. <laughs> Beautiful day. Oh, blue skies. It's gonna be so fun. <laughs> Look at how Maven sitting so nice. Hi, <laughs> Maven. <laughs> you good girl. <laughs> sitting so nice. I just quickly got ready. I did try to film this look for an IGTV, but the lighting was wasn't the best, so I don't know if that'll be up. But now I'm just preparing myself. Me and my brother are going to try skating today. This is my favorite jacket I've ever had. It's so warm, but it looks so cool too. I got it from Revolve. Got the skates. Now let's head out. Ooh, I'm kind of nervous. Look at this dog. <laughs> she looks like she's from the 80s. You model? You model? Look at your pants. So it's been a little bit since I last saw you. After skating, we came in and had some lunch. But anyways, I think I'm going to end my first vlog here. I think we're all about to watch a show together. I leave here early tomorrow so I can get back to work. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'd love to know what else you'd like to see in my vlogs. Please give me a little time to get used to vlogging, but it's been so fun so far. But I think that is all for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so, so much, and I'll catch you in my next video. Love you. Bye! <laughs>